with artificial intelligence, we are summoning the demon. You know, you know all those stories where there's the guy with the pentagram and the holy water, and he's like, yeah, you sure you can control the demon? Technology is the backbone of our modern world. From programming to quantum computing and artificial intelligence, the world has entered a new age of technological breakthroughs. Not long ago, NASA, in a bid to revolutionize the tech industry, launched a quantum computer with unfathomable abilities. However, the agency has just shut down the quantum computer after something shocking and unexpected happened. What happened to NASA's quantum computer? And what does this new development mean for the tech industry and the world at large? Join us in this video as we explore how NASA shut down quantum computer after something insane happened. One of the most phenomenal milestones in technological evolution was the advent of digital computers. From the early models like the ENIAC to later ones like the Macintosh PC, every new generation of computers brought a corresponding transformation and boost to basic human and communication technology. As the Internet came along, Information and Communication Technology, ICT, changed on a global scale. What was formerly impossible became a reality. Right now, we're in the midst of another massive revolution, namely AI. As more and more AI labs produce AI tools that cut across various technologies, there's no doubt that our world will take a new shape in the next few years. But AI isn't the only next big thing cooking right now. There's another massive development that may bring an even greater change to our world when it becomes fully operational. We are talking about quantum computing. Imagine an ultimate computer that can compute or solve problems faster than you could ever imagine by taking advantage of quantum mechanics. Such computers would be able to perform impossible calculations, make crazy future predictions, and do all sorts of amazing stuff. Right now, there are many quantum computers in universities and several tech labs across the world. However, these are miniature versions. They barely scrape the surface of what is possible with quantum computing. According to Michio Kaku, a well-renowned physicist and author, all the big tech companies are currently in a race to perfect quantum computing. While this may seem interesting, there's actually a scary side to it. You see, a truly advanced quantum computer would be able to crack any digital code. This means it would be able to hack any system, bypass any password, or do any other stuff like that, so long as it is based on digital technology, it would be the perfect hacking machine. Now imagine what would happen if such power falls into the wrong hands. This is one reason the billionaire tech investor Elon Musk earlier criticized and cautioned tech companies like Google on their overenthusiasm for AI and quantum computing. In addition, the FBI, CIA, and other top government agencies around the world are following up on any news or breakthroughs as regards quantum computing. Once the ultimate quantum computer is born, no one is safe. Add this to the already growing fear of an AI takeover, and you can see that there's a lot of uncertainty in humanity's future. But then, this doesn't change the fact that there are lots of benefits too. Quantum computers are the next generation of computers, so it's only natural that they become a reality. In case you're wondering how quantum computers work and what makes them so special, here's the full gist. Your quantum computers operate on the principles of quantum mechanics. Our regular computers store data in bits, representing them as a series of zeros and ones. This is commonly called binary form, in which one represents an on bit, whereas zero represents an off bit. However, all of that changes when it comes to quantum computers. Rather than using bits, quantum computers work with qubits. These qubits are more sophisticated because they can hold data as both zeros and ones simultaneously, thanks to a unique ability called superposition. As a result, quantum computers can handle parallel complex calculations at the same time, thereby speeding up tasks and processes beyond what is currently possible in ICT. 
Another fascinating thing in quantum computing is the entanglement property. Entanglement is the connection of multiple qubits. It is when multiple qubits share a single quantum state. This property allows two or more qubits to behave and function the same way, on the same level, regardless of the distance between them. At this point, two or more quantum systems can be so strongly correlated that any new data or information pertaining to one is automatically updated to the other, regardless of how far apart they are. This is one of the wonders of quantum computing. By leveraging on superposition and entanglement, Quantum computers can perform impossible tasks or process a ton of data all at once. Truly, quantum computers are the computers of the future. But how did the idea for these computers come about, and when? Well, as said earlier, the entire idea of quantum computers is based on the quantum theory, which deals with the behavior and energy of matter on the subatomic level. And so, the concept of the quantum computer dates back to the 20th century when scientists first developed quantum theory. However, given the low level of technology at the time, there wasn't much any scientist or scholar could do on the topic. Merely developing a simple quantum mechanics system was a huge problem. Much more developing an advanced quantum machine that could process data. And so, it wasn't until the mid-1990s that we began to see profound improvements in the concept of quantum mechanics. In 1935, Albert Einstein introduced a unique concept called the EPR paradox. This helped explain the concept of entanglement particles. After that, a few scientists took their shot at creating a tangible quantum mechanics system, but nothing significant really happened until the 1980s. In 1982, the idea of quantum computers was born, thanks to a physicist named Paul Benioff. He explained these computers as computers that would harness the power of quantum mechanics. From there on, everyone in the world of science and technology became excited and eager to see this dream come true. They perceived that quantum computers would be able to do the wildest things that regular computers would never be able to. With time, Scientists conducted varying research to understand the working principles of quantum mechanics and see how they could be harnessed. In 1998, a team of researchers at the Los Alamos National Laboratory created a small quantum computer that featured two qubits. Their invention was done using nuclear magnetic resonance techniques, but it was very limited compared to what you'd expect from an ideal quantum computer. However, this was still a remarkable milestone for the scientific community. By the early 2000s, multiple tech companies and research groups had begun to work on quantum computers of their own. With the internet and other aspects of technology improving, it wasn't long before significant breakthroughs emerged. In 2001, International Business Machines Corporation IBM invented the IBM Qubit. This was a seven-qubit quantum computer that could solve certain problems and calculations that were unsolvable at the time. In 2005, a research team at the University of Innsbruck and the National Institute of Standards and Technology built a five-qubit working quantum computer. By 2007, another phenomenal milestone was reached as researchers at Yale University created stable qubits with the help of solid-state systems. In 2010, the Chinese University of Science and Technology achieved a concept called quantum teleportation. In other words, they were able to teleport information successfully from one quantum qubit to another that was miles away. Any way you look at it, you'd agree that this achievement was quite fascinating. But the most outstanding and monumental milestone in the evolution of quantum computing came in the year 2013. This was when Google partnered with NASA to create something revolutionary, the D-Wave. The D-Wave was a groundbreaking invention. It not only superseded all the classic computers of its time, but also surpassed every other quantum computer that came before it. Moreover, NASA and Google had planned to make it a commercial computer, meaning they would sell it to anyone who could afford it. However, just as the project was gaining momentum, something unexpected happened. 
the government showed up and requested the project be shut down. And so NASA had to shut down the project with no hope of when to reopen it. The unexpected shutdown took a toll on this project, cutting short NASA's dream of exploring quantum technology. Now you may be wondering why NASA, a space agency, would be so interested in quantum computing. Why does NASA need a quantum computer? Well, there are many reasons. You see, a supercomputer can literally transform NASA's space exploration missions and processes. Sending probes and astronauts to specific locations in space requires lots of complex mathematical calculations. In fact, before NASA could land the first men on the moon for the Apollo mission, a NASA mathematician named Katherine Johnson had to invent a new kind of math. A similar scenario plays out for other space missions. Everything has to be calculated, considering various factors. One wrong calculation, and you could send a space probe flying in the wrong direction or colliding with an asteroid in space. And so, you see, quantum computers will be a big help in planning space missions, optimizing trajectories, and ultimately improving missions' success rates. Currently, NASA is working to apply generative AI in space exploration processes. But again, these AI may find it hard to tell what's right from wrong, and so they make wrong predictions. Quantum computers are best for doing the complex calculations needed by astronomers and cosmologists. In addition, quantum computers will be able to perform complex astronomical simulations faster and more accurately. This will give experts at NASA more insight into celestial bodies and the inner workings of the cosmic wonderland. Moreover, cryptography, a core component of space exploration, will see a massive revolution when quantum computers are fully launched into the scientific community. But there is one other thing that makes NASA desperately in need of an advanced quantum computer, though. A strange theory has always puzzled scientists at NASA, and the only way to test this theory would be by using a quantum computer. For a long time, NASA scientists, as well as people all over the world, have sought tangible proof of alien existence. Aside from UFOs, UAPs, and other weird stuff, why hasn't there been any real, undisputable sighting of aliens and the planet they thrive in? Well, many in the scientific community believe that the aliens on other planets are using black holes as a kind of teleportation device. This strange theory suggests that the black holes are some sort of advanced quantum computer that aliens use to do all sorts of things, perhaps even travel across dimensions. Black holes have always been one of the most mysterious space entities. These majestic, unforgiving space phenomena can suck in everything that dares to venture into their domain, sending it to the deep abyss in its core. Till now, scientists don't know a lot about black holes, and no one knows if this strange alien theory is true or not. Another thing that makes experts at NASA believe in the need for quantum computers is the theory that aliens could be using quantum communication methods. A study by Giad Vali and Zaza Osmanov proposes that large-scale computing could be the very thing that could help us detect alien civilizations. If alien civilizations have evolved beyond radio or satellite signals, we may never be able to spot where they are in the cosmos until we employ quantum computers to detect their quantum signals in the cosmos. For decades, NASA's search for alien life has relied on traditional methods like signals, hands-on data from probes, and space images. However, so far, no tangible results have emerged. And so, the agency is set to try things from another angle. Employing the help of both artificial intelligence and quantum computers would be a game changer. However, the big question remains, what would happen if AI and quantum computing were merged as one? You see, physicist Michio Kaku recently revealed during an interview that the world isn't prepared for what might happen if AI and quantum computing are integrated. On the one hand, AI can create or generate things and bring your ideas or thoughts to reality. But these AI systems have a major limitation. They can't differentiate between what is genuine and what is not. Quantum computers, on the other hand, 
would be able to verify the authenticity of data, including those generated by AI systems. However, Michio Kaku revealed another major fear with quantum computing. But there's the fear of the government seizing advantage of this technology and using it to silence oppositions and contrary opinions. This would most likely be the order of the day if the government gains full control over super-quantum computers. Major tech companies around the world are conceiving crazy quantum computing projects. For instance, IBM, the same company behind the IBM Qubit, is planning to build a 100,000 qubit quantum computer. The company is partnering with the University of Tokyo and the University of Chicago for this project. It would be a super quantum computer, setting the pace for other quantum machines of the 21st century. So far, it's estimated that it would cost at least $100 million to create this magical computer. But IBM isn't the only player in this game. Other tech giants like Google, NVIDIA, and Microsoft are also working their way up the ladder of quantum computing. All these tech companies realize the potential that this technology holds. Tech giants are exploring two major aspects of quantum computing. One is gate-based quantum computing, while the other is adiabatic computing. Gate-based quantum computing involves controlling individual qubits in a quantum system to streamline the process and minimize errors. Adiabatic quantum computing, on the other hand, relies on the adiabatic theorem. This sort of quantum computing evolves a quantum system from the ground state up. Adiabatic quantum computers are more scalable and solve more complex problems as they evolve. There's a lot of promising potential around quantum computing. From scientific to military and general applications, this technology serves every field and industry. However, it has raised certain red flags recently. These red flags are the very reasons NASA had to shut down its quantum computer until further notice. You see, while quantum computers present many opportunities, they also pose certain threats. One of the major threats is the threat to encryption systems. An ideal quantum computer can hack into secure databases, steal data, and do all sorts of cyber damage. Also, the risk of developing cryptographic systems that are resistant to all sorts of hacking whatsoever has become a national concern. Just imagine a scenario whereby a terrorist creates a time bomb and secures it using a quantum computer. Such a security code will be unhackable even by other classical computers. This is what many governments around the world are afraid of and even consider it a national security concern. Such scenario is called the post-quantum cryptography. It's most likely the reason why the government made NASA shut down its quantum project. Amid all this, you may be wondering, why NASA? Why not shut down every single quantum computer in the world and everyone in development? That's because if anyone can create the next level supercomputer that can unleash the full power of quantum computing, it's NASA. The agency has a long-standing track record of achieving insane and impressive technological feats. Take the James Webb Space Telescope, for example. This single piece of scientific instrument has brought new life to the world of astronomy. Thanks to James Webb, scientists are able to see the universe with a new lens, peer deeper into the cosmos than ever before, and take the clearest snapshots of countless cosmic wonders. Space images from James Webb have thrilled scientists and common folk alike, and all have come to see how much of a phenomenal piece of technology the telescope is. Many experts fear that NASA will replicate what it did with the James Webb in quantum computing. The agency is constantly working to create new tech that would help improve and accelerate the study of the cosmos. It might just develop the next big thing in quantum computing. Surely, as we've mentioned earlier, quantum computers can play a big role in space exploration. NASA is aware of this, which is why the agency is very much invested in its Quantum Artificial Intelligence Laboratory. I'm sure you've heard of the term AI labs. Well, this NASA laboratory is trying to harness the power of both quantum computing and AI. The Quantum Artificial Intelligence Laboratory, also called QUAIL, is a collaboration between NASA, 
Google, and the university's Space Research Association. Currently, Quail is housed at the NASA Ames Research Center in California. Although NASA never shared any details as to how much it costs to build this quantum laboratory, experts have estimated that it probably cost hundreds of millions of dollars. That's because building a simple quantum computer alone can cost tens of millions of dollars. How much more a complex quantum laboratory? The Quail was the very same laboratory that led to the creation of NASA's D-Wave quantum computer. Costing a whopping $15 million, this supercomputer is still one of the top quantum computers to date. Analysis of the D-Wave performance compared to a classic, modern-day computer showed that the D-Wave was able to solve problems seven times faster. In short, a classical computer would need more than 10 Bowel 7 cores to match the speed and parallel efficiency of Google's and NASA's D-Wave super machine. All in all, NASA's partnership with Google on this project is a very smart and productive move. Google is one of the leading tech giants in the world today, and it's among the top three when it comes to tech innovations. For example, in 2019, the company announced that it had achieved quantum supremacy. It achieved this using a Sycamore processor that featured 70 qubits. Quantum supremacy is a very huge milestone for quantum computing. In fact, it's so huge that some experts disputed Google when it first made its claims. However, the company was able to prove beyond reasonable doubt that it had achieved this feat. By partnering with Google, NASA has been able to leverage Google's expertise in quantum hardware and algorithms, as well as artificial intelligence. The Quantum AI Lab is still a baby compared to its potential. With these two companies working together, there's bound to be a groundbreaking breakthrough soon. This is why tech experts like Elon Musk are concerned for humanity's safety and are calling for strong regulation of these technologies. Just imagine sensitive information being hacked into, cyber attacks, and all sorts of digital crime that could happen if the world's greatest quantum computer falls into the wrong hands. Already, we're seeing these issues grow more and more as AI evolution continues. Things might worsen when quantum computing is added to the mix. Quantum computing is a revolution in computer hardware, while AI is a revolution in software. Merging the two without any form of control may just create something terrifying. A quantum-powered AI could end up creating the world's first AI Terminator. This is what many experts fear. But is that really possible? Can quantum computing really bring doom to humanity? Or will it rather be what sets us on the pedestal to impossible technological breakthroughs? Only time will tell. Thanks for watching another episode of Voyager. While you're still here, make sure to click the video on your screen for more mind-blowing videos about space.